today I'm here with a new video and today I am doing a first impression of the Nomad palette by Juvia's Place and you see I'm not wearing black today that's just because <laughs> this is my cozy sweater so I was like I'm going to film in my cozy sweater so I am doing a first impression with this and this is so up my alley I don't know which colors I want to use because I think a lot of them look so so good so we will see and okay I like even don't know what I want to do with this palette it is so many colors I want to try I think I maybe should swatch some but at the same time that's no fun I don't think at least or fun yeah but I'm not going to do it I think I will though start with, these have no names, I will start with this one and take it in my crease. If you have seen my mm, first impression with uh, Warrior 3, I was not like super impressed by it. It was not a good palette, not at all, but... For me, it's like when I'm trying a Juvia's Place palette, I have some expectations on it, if you'd say it like that. And it maybe didn't meet my expectations. And I hope this will. And so far, so good. Okay, and then I actually think I want to deepen down my crease, but I'm not sure with what. I think I'll just swatch the shimmers. Ooh. These are the two shimmers swatched and one of them is really dark green. Ooh. Yeah, I think I want to use... I think I want to use these colors. Is that boring makeup look? Feels like I'm doing the bo <laughs> the boriest, most boring makeup looks ever right now. But I think I will in with this and deepen down my crease. Actually, I in a period right now with my makeup where I like to deepen down my crease. I'm not always like that, but sometimes I just can't get enough of it. And I like to do this because. This shade I'm taking now, I don't know if it would have been super dark in my crease and then I like to have like a little rim of a lighter shade up here. And I think it's like easy. It's doing a really good blend. Then it feels like it's so much with you this place. And I now have done the first impression with this and with the Warrior Free Palette. And it's now I don't know if I want to go in with... I don't know where to put all my things. If I want to go in with these three colors or just these two or maybe I should... This I think this is too dark to take in my inner corner. Maybe not. This is my new thing, I know, I'm sorry about that. But how else am I supposed to know if it looks good? Nobody knows. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. I think I've changed my mind a little bit. Just as I always do. I need to clean my brushes as well. I'm super bad at that. I should, like, when I don't have the energy to film, or a day when I just edit, I should clean my brushes instead. But it's boring to clean my brushes, so I never do that. Okay, I will go in with this dark brown and take it on my outer... Not my outer V, but like out here on my eye. And I usually never do this. I usually always go in with dark shade after when I've done everything else but sometimes it feels like it's a little bit hard to like get it really really dark 
if you put it over something else. So I do like this today. And I think I'm liking this shade, actually. Something like this, maybe, and then take it a little bit more in my crease. And then I'm going to try to do the same on this eye. And now I'm like wondering, should I take a red lip with this look? shouldn't be thinking about lipstick right now. If anybody of you wondering how it's going with this eye, I've talked a little bit about it being dry. It's it's a lot better, but it's not the best. So I never know like how it's going to go with the eyeshadow on this eye. So okay, now I go in with this dark shimmer and take it on my lid and I wonder why this palette doesn't have any names this Sula palette doesn't have any names and I don't know if it's any other of the palettes doesn't have any names I actually don't know This one I really liked. It's like almost not black, but it's so freaking dark, and I'm really liking it. I really, really do. I think I want to go in with the shade I deepened down my crease with. A little bit on my brush and just try to fix this. Sometimes it feels like the shades are lying down at my wrinkles on my eyelid. <laughs> is that like a sign that I'm getting old? Maybe it is. Okay, I think this shade is really really good. It feels opaque at once. It's easy to blend it's stacking really good to my eyelid okay i want to have something in here but i don't think i want to take the shimmer one maybe how is this looking i have like swatches everywhere okay so i'm thinking of one of i'm thinking of one of these two so Maybe it's gold with a little sh gold specks in it, or this orange. Why did I swatch on this one? I don't know. Bam, bam. I I think that no, maybe this one would look so cool. The only question is, is it's going to like? I don't want to cut my crease when I'm going to put a matte on it because it doesn't feel like it's going to be that good. So maybe I should take this shimmer. Yeah, maybe I should. So I take this in the middle. I hope that this will look cool and I hope it will be able to lie over. And it picks up good on the brush. So, oh. Yes. Okay, this looks... I think it would... If I would have cut my crease, do a little half focused crease, I think this would have looked amazing, but it still looks amazing. It doesn't look in the pan that this is going to be... It has like more green to it on the eyes than I thought. Maybe it's because I have greenish around it, I don't know, but I'm going in with this darker shimmer, the green I had, just to blend the edges a little bit more and I think I took it too far in or too much on the brush. 
So I go in with a light <laughs> shimmer again. Take a little bit on the brush. Smudging it a little bit here. I think I really like this and this shade was so much more than I expected. I don't know. And do you see it has like a little... I don't know if the camera picks it up. I don't know if I can see it now. I think it just looks green on my eyes because I have green around it. Because I... Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows. And then I'll come back and we do something to the lower lash. I think... I want to stay in the same color. I don't know. So I will fix that my base and my brows and then I'll come back. Okay, so for my under eyes, I think I want to take this orange and then take either the green or the brown maybe to deepen down the outer corner. But I will start with the orange underneath my eye. So we will see, and I think I have like cat hair or something in my eye, this eye, but I can't find anything. If you have cats or animals, hairy animals at home, is it the same for you that sometimes it feels like you have something in your eye but you can't find it? Hate that. So okay, I go on with the orange. So, and then I'll go in with the matte. Drop the brush. It's, don't, it's too many things to hold. So I will go in with this and just deepen it down a little bit so it doesn't look like super dark orange. So it's super dark, a little darker than orange. I hope you get what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay, and then I actually think that I will take the this shimmer and pop it in my inner corner and use my pinky. I don't know if this is my new thing. I think I did this for a while and then I stopped doing it, but I think it's like the better way to do it at least for me so okay i will put on a lippy and a mascara and i think it's going to be a red lip i know and you know so i will fix that and then come back and also something in my waterline i don't know what that is going to be but i will try to find something Okay, so this is the finished look and for my waterline I of course used Dirty Talk from Colourpop because I always do and for my lips I of course used Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star because I always do need to stop but I don't want to. So what do I think about this look? I really like this. I really like this palette. My first impression is amazing. It's, it looks I love this look, okay? I I just love it. This is absolutely my kind of colors. And I watched Paulina's video. She like an anti haul thing. I can leave her up here. And she said that she think that this reminded of the tri palette. And I get what she mean. But I would not want only one of tribe and this one because this one I really really love it and this shade that I have in here I so good and also this one this is like a grungy dream I love it this orange this kind of orange I really love and all the shades I have used just so good so I think this is such a good palette my first impression at least I really love the color scheme. I, I just love everything about it. The one thing I, I don't get why it doesn't have any names. I don't know why US Place does that with some of their palettes. No idea. But yeah, I really, really, really like this. And 
only thing that bugs me a little bit. This is smaller than their other nine pen palettes. And why do you do that? I think it's strange to do that. But I really, really, really like this palette. So, yeah. Uh, that was all for this video. I'm so happy that this was like the US I know. If you haven't seen my Warrior 3 review and first impression, you can go and check that out. I can leave it up here or it has already been up here. I don't know. But I like this so much more and this is like... I know why I love UVS. So yeah. I think it was all for this video. I really hoped you liked it. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!